and instantly create graphics that you can then schedule on social media so you can set it and forget it. You won't have to think about social media posts for a couple of months. So let's dive in. So I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to say, you are the owner of Quartz Pizza and Brew Pub, a family owned and operated restaurant in Kansas City. So I primed it, I've kind of told it who it is. Now I'm gonna say create 10 dad jokes, all right? So what we're looking for is creating something simple that we can turn into quote graphics. So the first one I'm gonna do are dad jokes and see. let's see what it comes up with. I love a good dad joke. So it's gonna start coming up with it. Then I'm gonna say um, write um, 10, um, generate 10 um, quotes about pizza make them clever okay so then what it's going to do is it's going to come up with some quotes about why people love pizza it's probably going to come up with some analogies uh let's see what it comes up with and, spit, and spits out okay so it's coming up with stuff just like that you can see so as it's going here um you can see right now i've got 10 and 10 i've got enough that i could come up with 20 social media posts if i want so i'm just gonna copy and paste this over into a Google uh, sheet. So you could do Excel or whatever, but I'm gonna then highlight everything, click right here, I'm gonna go to format, and I'm going to clear formatting. So it makes it just like that. Now, I am going to go to file, I am going to export it, or I'm gonna download it as a CSV. So now that I've exported as a CSV, I go over to Canva and I wanna uh, search for Instagram quotes. So I could type it in, it's in my search history. So I'm gonna go to Instagram quotes. And what this will do is it gives me a bunch of templates that I can use for quotes. Now the background and everything does not matter because we can 100% customize it. Um, I'm just gonna scroll around here and see if I can find one that I like um let's say i go with this one okay uh, i want to customize this so um i am going to take this one let's say i just want to change up the background change the font okay cool now once i do that um, and i get this all set so you need to make sure that this you're really happy with how this looks uh, because you're going to create this one and you're going to multiply it out into a whole bunch so in the lower left-hand corner of Canva, and if you didn't know this, I'm going to rock your world today. Um, go to apps and bulk create. Go to bulk create, and then you're gonna upload that CSV file. So I've just uploaded the CSV file, and right here it says, okay, we see one data field. Then right here it says, right-click an element in your page to connect it to your data below. So it's saying, where do you wanna connect? Now, if you uploaded two CSV files, you could connect this to this. And then let's say we had like something right here that was like a name or something. We could have a second CSV file that would point to that. So I'm going to right click on this and let's see here. I'm gonna right click connect data and it's gonna say which one do we wanna to connect to, okay? So I wanna connect it to this um, and I am going to just uh, change that right there and i am going to continue it says how do you want to do it on all of these yes i want to generate them all and boom look at what it just did it came up with all of these and they dropped them all in here now we could go through and we could fix it up a little bit uh we can talk about that in a minute but um it's done we're going to export it right here in share download um jpeg or png um either one so then you'll want to download it once you click download it's going to create a zip file now let's go over to uh chat gpt again because now that we've got the graphics let's create some the posts the captions okay so what we're basically wanting to do is have evergreen captions um that we could use these different evergreen captions uh, with our graphics that we just did. So right now you can see it's generating it. So now I'm gonna say generate 10 hashtags for Instagram posts. 
And you can see these are all really good hashtags that it's coming up with. I mean, cheesy humor, funny Friday, KC pizza lover, these are all really specific things. So now I'm gonna go into Smarter Q and we're gonna turn this into evergreen posts so you can set it and forget it. Something will still be going up and I'm gonna show you how to do it in 30 minutes or less with Smarter Q and chat GPT and Canva. So let's dive in. Smarter Q is gonna blow your mind. If you haven't experienced it yet, most scheduling platforms like Hootsuite, when you schedule things out, you tell it the day and time it posts, and then once it posts, it's gone. With Smarter Q, you can set up queues where you say, okay, every, every week on Friday at 12 o'clock, I want this type of post to go out. And you could add a dozen posts to the queue. When it gets to the bottom of the queue, it will go back up to the top and recycle back down the queue. So if you add 12 posts and they go out every single week, in 12 weeks, it's going to come back and you'll have your new post. So with just, um, you know, 12 weeks, you would get through three times, four times would be a year. And people won't remember what they saw several, you know, from several months ago. Most people don't see most of your posts anyway. So again, if you don't post anything, at least something is going out. So let's, let me show you how it works. First, what you do is you go and connect your profiles. So um, what it is, is it can use all these different types of profiles, including Facebook groups, LinkedIn, um, company pages and profile pages um, and more. Okay, so, and you pay uh, based on how many profiles. I believe there's a freemium version. I pay $19 per um, client and it gets uh, me, I believe 10 uh, profiles that I can connect. But it's very affordable, I highly recommend it. What you do next after you do the profiles is we're gonna create a category, all right? So the category is like the queue. So think of it like the queue. So I'm gonna say, you can see I already have a couple set up. This one is add a new category, and I'm going to call this um, Friday, oops, Friday Funny Dad Jokes, okay? I can pick a color, and then it says, okay, which social media profile do you want to link it to? And so I could do multiple. I could do multiple. So let's say I want to do it to all, not these two, okay? And um, I'm, I'm good there. Everything looks good, so I've got it added. Now I'm gonna go over to the posting plan. So this is like, okay, here's the week. We're gonna set up where you want it to go out. All right, so we said it's gonna be Friday funny. Let's go Friday at 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna click right here and it says, okay, which category? We want the Friday funny dad jokes every Friday at 12 o'clock. And so these are, it's gonna to post to these profiles. Okay, great. So now let's go add to the queue, all right? So we're gonna go over here to the queue and um, we're going to, let's see here. Oh, we, we start by creating a post. So we're gonna create a post called Friday Funny Dad Jokes. We're gonna select that category. We're gonna select all of them. And then over here in chat GPT, I asked it to um, take these captions. In the last video, I said, generate me some Friday funnies and give me some evergreen captions. So I added one of the graphics that we created with ChatGPT and Canva. You can see we got a dad joke here. And now what's really cool is we've got these two text variations, but I can go through network by network uh, that I've connected and dress it up based off of the network. For example, for Facebook, maybe we don't want to use hashtags. So I could take all the hashtags off, but it would only affect the Facebook one. And I can dress it up, all of these based off of what we have, okay? Um, and so then if you scroll down, you can also add a comment. So this would be the first comment that goes out. So a good strategy here would be you could put a link. Hey, go check out our full menu. And you could add it as a link right there. That's one idea. There's lots of use cases for it. Then we want to, you have some options. We could post it now and it would go up right now. We could add it to the queue, which is what we just created. Um, and you can add it to the top of the queue or to the bottom of the queue. So if you add it to the top of the queue, if your queue is set to go out every Friday, it will, the next Friday, that will be the post it does. If you do it at the bottom of the queue, 
depending on how many posts you have, once it gets down to the bottom, that's where it'll be. You could schedule it for a specific day. Court, when might you use that? Holidays. So let's say you want to have a specific holiday post, like a, like a Christmas post. You could schedule that on the 25th and use it just like Hootsuite. So you can use functionality just like Hootsuite. Here's another one that I love, and this is called recurring. So what it does is it takes this post and you can go recurring. So it says, okay, I want to first post it on January 22nd at this time. And again, every X many of days, weeks, or years. So for example, you could say, all right, um, I want to do our weekly, um, I want to do our weekly happy hour specials, but I only want to kind of post about it every other week. So you could set this up and you could have a couple di different versions of the, the copy and say, okay, every four weeks or every two weeks, I want it to post. So it's not going into your queue for this one. It is going to be a recurring post. It is super slick. I've used it a lot for things like that. Okay. We're going to add it to the queue. There's a couple other questions here. Evergreen. So do I want it to recycle? So what it, if, if I want it to recycle, what that means is if it's in the queue, I want it to go back and go through the queue again. If I don't want it to recycle, I'm going to add it to the queue. Once it posts, it will never post again. I recycle things after posting it. If it's evergreen, if it's something that you could always post every single day um, in that time slot. And then you could even say, okay, I, you know, I want it to be in the queue and I'll do this sometimes for three times. So it'll post one, two, three, and then it'll disappear from the queue. So you can really do some different automations with it. And so I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to, what did we do here? I've got it and I've saved it. What I've done here is I've added uh, three different posts underneath that queue um, with different jokes and different captions. And what it's going to do is it's going to then recycle it. I could then go in and add more categories and I could say, okay, every Tuesday I want a review to go up. It's phenomenal. So get in and play around with it. I just barely scratched the surface of everything it can do. There's more tutorials on there. Give me a like below if you'd be interested in learning more about SmarterQ. So hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.